I just finished a story that I, that I read in the Reader's Digest. Uh, it was about a guy who crashed his plane in November 1994, and his name is Peter De, De Leo. Um, unfortunately, his two friends, Lloyd Matsumoto and Wave Hatch, did not survive the plane crash. Uh, he actually had to leave his friends behind after the plane had crashed. Uh, being injured himself, he had to leave the plane to try to find help. And he was practically out in the wilderness for 13 days. Um, I've never seen the Inyo, Inyo Mountains or um, Death Valley or the Sierra Nevadas. I've never seen the Kern River either. So uh, if you wanted to show me on this video the Inyo Mountains or the Kern River, I understand it was frozen up at that period of time. It was... Uh, late in November when the plane crashed and he wasn't even discovered till early December. Uh, I believe it was the 9th of December when he finally got discovered. So that was about a 13 day journey that he made from that crash site to a highway where he could be found. Okay, um, He survived quite a bit of an ordeal. Um, I'm kind of wondering how Peter DeLeo is doing these days. Uh, did he ever get married? Did he ever have kids? Uh, I kind of wonder what happened to the kids of Wave Hatch and uh, Lloyd Matsumoto. Uh, I don't know. Do, do they uh, fly now? Um, are they afraid of flying because what happened to their, their parents? I don't know. So that's kind of another question I'd like to know. Um, Peter DeLeo in his article had mentioned that he, that he was into dirt biking uh, when he was a kid. Um, maybe he can elaborate on what kind of stuff he did when he was a kid. Uh, mountain climbing apparently he did also. Um, so I, I'd like to hear some more about that. Um, is your father still alive, Peter DeLeo, or did he finally pass away? And if so, how? Did he go quietly or what? Uh, that was another thing I kind of wanted to know. Um, so there you go. A lot of good questions about that. Um, they were in a Mall M5 plane. Uh, the other question I'd have for Peter DeLeo is, did you get another plane? And if so, what kind of a plane did you get? Are you still flying? That kind of thing. So anyway, um, uh, that's pretty much all the questions I got for this particular video. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.